continues your day in here, like mastery. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. This is part two of CRV remote viewing, David Schultz location. Okay, this is my etogram. Um, what etogram is, it's setting the intention into the consciousness matrix, okay? Uh, for the skeptics out there, I don't like this. It's not in the Bible somewhere. I'm sorry. You know, if you love the military so much, you love serving our great country, I hope you did. Uh, thank you. Uh, the military and the CIA made remote viewing possible for the spies out there. And I learned it from my ex-CIA operative. So here's CRV remote viewing, stage one, two, and three. Okay, we got ideogram, intention, feelings, and emotions. Okay. And then the response from it. What did I pick up? So I picked up cold, stress, energy, anxiety, scared, and fear in this area. It's very high tension, high emotion, and I know for a fact he's dead. He's deceased, okay? David is deceased. Um, something happened on the road, okay? I, I believe there possibly was someone else involved. Um, like, my first story of perception, going with that. I know with this eogram I drew, there's this curvature of, of energy. And this is land. It's natural structure land. And, uh, right in here... Is very interesting this is where I get tubular structure rectangle structure lights in the distance and what's really interesting is um, is the uh, domain the um, the river um, the river bends like this where like he was you know, last seen on, on that Route 20, or Highway 20. So my etogram kind of matches the same, like the river bend. Okay, the, um, the Des Moines River bend. Okay, Des Moines River, it matches it in a way. It has that, like, angle shape. So... What I pick up from tubular structure, rectangle structure, and uh, white, and I feel white metallic. So it's like, well, first I, I see dirt, or I feel dirt, taste dirt like a, like a flower like dirt, knowing it's like an open flat area of dirt. Okay? And here's like a road. Okay? And I would say this road is not the highway road. Okay, it's not that. It's like a frontage road or something. And the structure of the building itself is on this flat, you know, dirt area. Um, lights in the distance would be this, this road, okay? This Route 20. Okay, that's what I see, that's what I feel, that's what I experience with perception it was a lot to get to that okay um, tubular structure is something on the property I did feel and experience like there was some farms um, tubular structure I believe there's some propane tanks maybe other like miscellaneous like oil containers or 55 gallon drums laying around maybe a another um, structure in the background I think these are trailers metallic white trailers okay just sitting there you know without the uh, without the truck itself or maybe the trucks in the distance there's s some form of and I, I do feel like it's a square and it's like boxed in and a road, um, maybe an entrance. So, 
very interesting. I got um, anxiety, scared, energy. I believe someone killed him. And then with the energy, this is like driving to the location, okay, where he's going to be kind of dumped. Um, so that's what I got. And um, very interesting that I uh, even his wife in a podcast interview said cartel. I mean, what's that? You know? Uh, fix it up his new truck. He was almost done with the headlight. Blah, blah, blah. She seems panicky. Her body language and her emotions and what I can feel within her chakras, her body, how I can feel. I can feel people when they lie. I can feel when their energy goes up. It means they're standing their ground with the truth. When the energy drops, it's like it's a lie. I can feel the energy drops a lie. And yeah, you can you can challenge me on that, no problem. And I'll I'll get it every time. And like I said, positive feedback makes po positive results. So this wife said cartel in that podcast interview and she changed her story a couple of times. There's something going on. So, this location, I kind of feel like this is where they're going to dump the body. And I feel like it's close to the river. Knowing that my Edogram matches the, the, uh, the point, the Moine River bend. It matches it very well. So it's, it's giving me that target location of where it's near. Um, so what else I got? So I think I did a pretty good job with the thing. I'm going to do some research and see what I find um, around the uh, Domain, Do, um, Des Moines River and the town. I think there's a town up here. In a town down here, and here's the highway. It kind of comes across. So, do some research and investigation on Google Earth. See if we can pop a similar location. So here's the river, the Moine River. You can see it matches my etogram perfectly. So the energy gets pretty intense right around here. Um, just like my etogram. So between Evanston and Colville. Well, let's see if there's anything in this location. So this location um, really matches my CRV practice of perception. So I was looking around for the best location that matches my CRV practice and I've got this location. So this is the location that I uh, remote viewed, I believe. Um, I got a rectangle structure, white uh, metallic building, white metallic rectangle, um, you know, trailers. A lot of this miscellaneous like junk laying around that I see um, like I said, it was like, I saw like 55 gallon drums and other debris laying around, other outbuildings and stuff like that. And what's very uh, interesting about this location that I discovered. Now this picture is very convincing. I hope law enforcement is working hard on the case solving David Schultz murder. Because that right there looks like a guy running with a body bag. Look. He's, like, you can see the high heel running. And his wife said cartel on a podcast a couple of days ago. If you're interested in my CRV remote viewing skill sets, please email me. I'll leave my email in the comments below. Thank you.